So joining us live now is Harold Tobin, state seismologist and director of the Pacific Northwest Seismic Net Network. Harold, this is a very fast moving situation because we were preparing to talk about this tsunami. Uh, the earthquake happened just about an hour and 15 minutes ago, followed by the tsunami warning that has just now expired. Can you explain what factors might have led them to ultimately cancel? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the tsunami warning was issued, I think, very much correctly because a magnitude 7 scale earthquake happened offshore. Their very first initial determination was 7.3. It's very normal for them to be a little off right at the beginning um, and close enough to the shore to present a real potential hazard. Um, it turns out that the type of earthquake is what we call a strike-slip earthquake, where the plates move side by side and have less impact on uh, lifting up the water. And so that's less likely but not impossible to create a tsunami. Um, what they did then, though, was watch for the arrival of that tsunami wave, either at the buoys or actually just simply at the coastline in the nearest areas. And I think what's happened is the tsunami has not been observed. And so they kept the warning up for a little longer, but um, but it was it became clear and apparent that nothing hazardous had actually happened from the tsunami point of view. It was a strong earthquake with strong shaking. Of course, that's a different issue. Of course, a huge relief for all the coastal communities there. It's a good thing yes. that this warning has been lifted. When we hear the word warning, though, it sounds so alarming. I and mean, we've been seeing live shots out of the Bay Area of cars literally already getting prepared to evacuate. It's very alarming. Uh, but a warning might not necessarily mean that a tsunami is coming. It's really kind of a, an alert for all of us to prepare if we need to. It is, but it is one of the higher levels of alert. They also issue tsunami watches at times, which is a lower level. So if you hear that there is a tsunami warning, it's something to take seriously if you're in the coastal region in the affected area. There's there's no doubt. And like anything else, uh, whether people are you know wondering where a hurricane's going to come ashore or where uh, an earthquake shaking is going to strike, if you get a shake alert message, the important thing to do is to take uh, precautionary measures. If you're in the tsunami zone to try to move to higher ground, certainly don't go down to the beach to look for it, which unfortunately we see people do. Um, uh, same for earthquakes. If you get a shake alert earthquake warning or start to feel shaking, it's drop cover, hold on. Either move under a table or something like that if you can, that can protect you from falling objects, or um, move away from windows or other really you know heavy objects that could fall over. Uh, if you're indoors, if you're outdoors, just simply move away from buildings and other structures. Okay, thank you very much. Harold Tobin, right. Washington State Seismologist. If anything, this was a, kind of a, a way for us to maybe kind of think about this and prepare it for if we ever need to.